what we've achieved in 2023. Yes, we had some challenges with module production that we weren't able to deliver as many Altium-based EVs as we would like. And we've had this recent incident with Cruise, uh, and we're doing a review, and we will make sure that we have the right path going forward. General Motors, one of the largest automakers globally, has faced several challenges recently, including financial difficulties and the need for a significant restructuring. CEO Mary Barra's leadership and strategic decision-making skills have kept this company afloat during these difficult times. Barra has worked extremely hard to resolve the business's financial problems and lead GM towards a more sustainable future. The auto business has had a number of issues as a result of many factors, such as the decreased demand for particular car models, increased competition, and unforeseen events like the COVID-19 pandemic that had a major effect on the industry. GM was compelled to streamline operations and implement cost-cutting measures in order to mitigate these losses. GM has just undertaken an absolutely groundbreaking deed. Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, has said that the company plans to move away from the traditional dealership network and towards direct-to-customer sales. General Motors hopes to charge buyers far less for its vehicles. With this radical shift in GM sales strategy, the status quo is overturned and a bold new direction for car buying is presented. Dealerships and automakers have always been mutually beneficial. Automakers like General Motors, Ford and Toyota would entrust a vast network of franchise dealers with handling the retail sales of their automobiles once they were produced. But why would GM implement such a significant alteration? This is one significant shift in consumer buying habits. In the era of the internet, shopping has altered and this has also affected the auto industry. Tesla and other direct-to-customer companies have demonstrated the viability and success of this approach in the past. Elon Musk's large electric car firm is well recognized for selling its cars directly through branded stores and online platforms, instead than through traditional dealerships. Mary Barra's revelation begs the question of how other manufacturers may respond. Significant dealership relationships have existed for many years for companies including Ford, Toyota and Volkswagen. It is hard to imagine a world in which car manufacturers compete not just on the technological aspects of their models, but also on how simple and transparent the buying experience is. Barra saw that the car industry's future depended on concentration concentrating on electric and driverless vehicles, as opposed to traditional gasoline-powered automobiles. By making large R&D expenditures and forging partnerships with IT companies, GM is positioning itself to lead the emerging electric car industry. Consider the popularity of EVs like the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Volkswagen ID.4. As these cars begin to gain traction, customers are looking for a complete ecosystem, including everything from the infrastructure needed for charging them to the process of making a purchase. Think of building your own car online, customizing it as you go, and having it delivered straight to your home. Given our current trajectory, such a scenario would not be far off. To address GM's financial issues, Mary Barra has undertaken many cost-cutting and restructuring efforts. These consist of factory closures, layoffs, and the discontinuation of subpar automobile models. These decisions were difficult, but necessary to increase overall effectiveness, maximize production capacity and reduce operating costs. Barra's readiness to reorganize demonstrates her dedication to preserving the long-term viability of the company. Under Barra's leadership, GM has made large R&D expenditures, particularly in the areas of cutting-edge technology and autonomous driving. Because of this acquisition of Cruise, a self-driving company, and its subsequent developments in autonomous car technology, GM is at the forefront of this innovation. Barra has positioned General Motors as a key player in the mobility of the future by embracing new technology and fostering innovation. Furthermore, the cheaper cost of direct-to-consumer strategy might have a cascading effect on the used car market. If the cost of new vehicles dropped, what would happen to the used car value proposition? Brands like Honda and Subaru, who have traditionally seen high automotive resale values, could need to reconsider their strategies in 
this brave new world. The broad and far-reaching effects of General Motors' strategy shift are felt not just by the corporation itself, but also by the greater automotive industry. First off, there are a lot of implications for the dealership network. The vitality of thousands of General Motors dealerships around the country comes from the sale and upkeep of these vehicles. This shift may require dealers to re-evaluate their roles within this new environment. One possibility is that they transition from being direct sales sites to service and experience centers, focusing on both offering compelling brand experiences and car repairs and maintenance. Another crucial consideration is the potential effect on employment. If other automakers follow GM's lead, traditional sales roles at dealerships would vanish. GM's experiment will be closely watched by regions like Europe, Asia and South America, which have different car cultures and dealership dynamics. The experience of buying a car might be totally changed by a global shift to direct sales, not only in America, but also internationally. Furthermore, from the customer's perspective, GM's action provides transparency, usability, and maybe a more favorable price point. It also increases the customer's knowledge load. Without support from dealership staff, customers will need to do their own research, understand the small distinctions between the models they are interested in, and make decisions based on their finding. A direct-to-consumer company model cannot succeed without a robust digital infrastructure. This includes online payment methods, virtual customer service and intuitive websites that make purchasing and customizing cars simple. Because of its long history and substantial financial resources, GM may be in a better position than others to invest in and develop these technologies. But this is not simply surface level change, it is a major operational and cultural transformation for a company deeply entrenched in outdated practices and old systems. This brings us to Data, who is yet another crucial actor in this unfolding narrative. Through a direct-to-customer approach, GM will collect copious amounts of consumer data, from browsing patterns and automobile choices to payment histories and service requests. This goldmine of information about consumer behavior will enable GM to improve its offerings, anticipate market trends, and grow faster. This new frontier presents an opportunity for growth, development, and learning for both GM and the industry industry at large. Companies like Nissan, Hyundai, and even luxury companies like Porsche may become inspired, challenge conventional thinking, and reconsider how they engage with their clientele. Mary Barra's leadership and legacy will serve as a testimony to the resilience and adaptability required to thrive in a rapidly changing business environment, especially in the light of the ongoing changes in the automotive industry. And that's it guys, give us a quick thought in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for more updates.